here in the desert right now in my blind, uh, laying on the thorny, dusty, dusty ground. And it's getting really hot. Luckily, I've got this breeze. But uh, you may be wondering, what is he doing out in the desert in that heat, in a blind, laying on the thorny ground? <laughs> well, I'm out here to try to photograph some owls. Uh, not just any owls. I'm out here for some burrowing owls. Now, as their name implies, burrowing owls live in burrows in the ground. These aren't burrows that they dig themselves. These are uh, burrows that have been repurposed from old badger digs, old badger holes. And uh, they use these burrows as their nests where they raise their young. So I'm out here with the family right now. A uh, family of eight. There's the two adults. And there's six young that I've seen so far. There might be more. Uh, but I've seen six so far. So I'm out here trying to photograph them. Now these owls are extremely skittish and wary. That's why I'm whispering. I don't want to make really any noise or any movement or anything. So um, I'll just wait here and hopefully I'll be able to photograph these guys. I've never photographed baby burrowing owls before. I've photographed adults multiple times, but the babies I still haven't. So I'm really hoping to get these guys. So I'll wait here and uh, see what we can get. So I'm laying here watching these owls and uh, the little ones, they're still pretty small. They're not coming out of the burrow a ton. Every once in a while, they'll, they'll pop up. But, uh, you know, Dad flies in, and he's got something in his mouth. And usually, the adults will catch, like, grasshoppers and crickets and beetles to feed their young. But he flies in, and he's got something pretty big in his mouth. And I'm just thinking, what is that? And so I look at my camera and he, he caught a scorpion. And so uh, that's got me thinking twice about laying here on the ground like this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, one of the little ones came out really quickly, snatched the scorpion and took it right back into the burrow. And uh, you know, that's breakfast, I guess. But it's just so fun watching these guys. It just fascinates me how they survive out here. Often it's they're a diet of insects and scorpions. It's pretty cool stuff. Close-ish image. 
obnoxious of these guys, especially because they're so small. These animals, or these owls are just, they're teeny. So I set up, uh, I mean, not extremely close, but fairly close in hopes to get some uh, close-up images of these guys. But I think I am making her a little bit nervous. So I think what I'm going to do is wait till she goes off hunting again and then I'll pull the blind back a little bit. You know, as much as I would love to get those close-up images of these guys, that's not my top priority. My top priority out here is to make sure that they're comfortable, to make sure they're not nervous or scared or anything like that. I can still get images. They'll just be a little bit farther back and I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that as long as they're comfortable. Uh, if I were to get my images, wait, you know, just wait for them to pop up and they're all nervous and scared it's not worth it for me because you can see that in the image you can see that when they're scared in those pictures so uh, i would rather have a more zoomed out or you know farther back picture with them being totally relaxed and comfortable that's my top priority so i'll wait till she goes off hunting again and then i'll pull my blind back a little bit and see if that changes their behavior at all and uh, see if those little ones pop out of that burrow. I'll keep you guys updated though. All right, I pulled the blind back. I pulled it back quite a ways. I'm just curious to see if their behavior changes at all. Uh, with it where it is now, mom flew off. And so I'll just wait to see if anything happens here. Uh, if those little ones come out or if, you know, when mom comes back, if she keeps looking over here still. Um, she just seemed really nervous, and if she keeps doing that, then I'll pull back even farther. I just, I really don't want to stress these guys out. And so, uh, yeah, I'll just chill out here, and, um, we'll see what we get. Owls, they just really don't seem to like this blind. Even set way, way back, set up way back like I am right now, they just, they keep looking at it very uncomfortably and uh, sometimes they'll do their little distress call that they do their alarm call. And uh, I think it's just so flat out here, this just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. It's something new to them and they just, they do not like it. So I'm gonna take it down, pack it up, try something else to get these guys. Uh, years ago, I was able to photograph a burrowing owl out here, and he allowed me extremely close to his burrow, and the method that I had to use to get close to him was I actually had to army crawl uh, towards the burrow from way, way, way back, and uh, you know, crawling through all these thorns, all this dust and everything. I ended up crawling about 100 yards extremely slowly it took me over an hour just to get to him and uh, he allowed me extremely close so I was able to get some really fun images that I was really happy with probably some of my favorite burrowing owl images that I've ever taken 
and I just had a blast with him. So I'm gonna try that same method with these guys. It's just stay right on the ground. Uh, I'll crawl up uh, towards the burrow. If they show any sign of discomfort or anything though, I'll back off again and just have to figure something else out. Uh, just again, because they do seem very, very wary. I don't want to stress them out at all. Well, uh, I'm gonna pack this up right now and we'll try that. It's uh, getting pretty late in the afternoon, so I wanna to get to these guys before it's evening and uh, hopefully be able to get some pictures of them. didn't seem to like that very much. Uh, I started to get a little bit closer, about as close as I was when I set up the blind the second time. And uh, they just, they were okay with me there for a little bit. I got a little bit of footage. The light was still pretty harsh, but I got a little bit of footage. But uh, after a while, those adults, they started giving that alarm call again, which sends the little ones back into the burrow. And it just means they're stressed out, which again, that's not my goal. So I backed out of there pretty quick and I'm just gonna give them some uh, space now. You know, this might sound really weird, really odd, but one of the things that I love most about wildlife photography is that your plan doesn't always work out the first time. And you know, with these owls, it's been really difficult to photograph them. Wildlife photography in general is really difficult to photograph. These owls, they don't see a lot of people. I'm probably the only human they're gonna see in the coming months. and. I'm probably the only human they've seen for a few months. And uh, because of that, they're just really wary and it's been really difficult to photograph them. But that's one of the things that I love most about wildlife photography, because it forces you to try new things. It forces you to think harder about how you're gonna photograph that animal. And it uh, really gets you thinking, trying new methods, ultimately learning and growing. And that's what that's what I love about it is it's difficult but again because of that it forces you to to keep keep at it and you know I might not get the images that I want this trip but uh, it's again forcing me to think harder about what I'm doing it's forcing me to try new methods and uh, ultimately it's keeping me coming back time and time again so that's what I love about it and uh, I've just had a, a blast with these owls. I've actually been hearing some others out here. So I think I'm gonna give these guys a little bit break and I'm gonna go collect my backpack, chug a whole bunch of water and uh, go see if I can find some of these other owls I've been hearing. Uh, the light's gonna get good here in the next hour and a half or so. So I uh, see if I can find some owls and get in place to photograph them while that light's good. But I just want to thank you guys for following along this week. I've had so much fun with these owls. It's been been a blast trying different things to try to photograph them. Uh, part of photography that I love is, you know, the pictures are wonderful, but it's the experiences as well. And I'm just having a great time out here. And that's what I love about being out here. As much as I love photographing these beautiful animals, it's these experiences, these memories that I'm making. And uh, that's just what I love about it. So. You know what, you guys, have fun out there, be safe. Go crawl through some thorns, make some fun memories, and get some awesome pictures. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week. See ya.
Later that evening, I was able to find two more families of burrowing owls. One of those families in particular was extremely comfortable with my presence there as I photographed them. When I first found that burrow, Mom was standing outside looking for any potential danger or threats to her little ones. She didn't show any signs of discomfort whatsoever as I approached that burrow and as I spent time photographing that beautiful little family that evening and again the next morning. There were eight young total in that little family, with the two parents that made for a family of ten. It was quite chaotic at times watching and photographing that wonderful little family. I had so much fun. I'm so glad that I was paying attention to those cues of discomfort that the first family of owls was showing me. If I hadn't been paying attention to those cues, ultimately I would not have left that first area and I wouldn't have found this second family that was much more comfortable with my presence. Because I paid attention to those cues and I put the animal first, I was able to find that second family and I was able to get the images that I was after with these burrowing owls. It was so fun watching those little ones as they jumped on each other, as they hunted little grasshoppers and beetles. I was able to get the images that I wanted, and again, it was just so rewarding. Thank you so much for watching this week, you guys. Remember, always put the animals first. It always pays off in the end. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time.